Hi Libras and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love and soulmate reading for the month of September, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading for many people, so I do apologize if this does not resonate with you or if I do not have any messages for you. Wow. Okay, Libra. Oh, let's see the outcome card. Okay. All right, Libra. So here's what's going on. Here's what I see. We have the star card and we have the moon card here. So we may either just be straight up dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. But what I see here, and you can decide which side you think you are, what I see here is I see two people who are on different pages. This person over here may be bringing some sort of illusions. Um, they may be deceiving you by night. They may be it's like causing conflict that does not need to be there so I feel like the person over here has some sort of hidden agenda I feel like this person over here is bringing some obstacles and illusions into the relationship that are unnecessary I feel like there's something a little bit sketchy going on here and over here with the star card I feel like somebody is a little bit I feel like somebody may not be totally aware of what is going on. So with the moon card over here, I feel like somebody's being very deceiving this month. I feel like somebody is bringing you these illusions that are kind of foggy and hard to see through. Like they're not very transparent about what they want or what they need. I feel like there's some sort of hidden agenda here with this, this crab coming in in the middle of the night. It's just somebody's intentions here may not be a hundred percent pure is what I'm feeling from this moon card and then over here at the star card I feel like somebody over here is just trying to fulfill their wishes not really like their heads kind of in the clouds and not really aware of what's going on over here with this moon card they kind of think that this other person is on the same page with them but I feel like with the moon card um, with the moon card here I just feel like there's something a little bit skeptical going on I feel like this person's not taking the chance with you like they once did and maybe that's what they were contemplating here was what they actually wanted um, unless this is you Libra but I feel like this side over here is maybe the side that's deceiving you right now. I feel like this person is not taking, is not continuing to take the chance, that leap of faith with you. I feel like this person, and I think this, you know, this may be an Aries you're dealing with, but I feel like this person is not once giving you what they used to or not once d diving into this relationship like they did. I feel like they're starting to hold back and 
I just feel like they're really pulling back because I feel like they're they have a hidden agenda. And so this person will not be coming through with justice for you, Libra. I feel like this person, whatever they were doing that was unfair, you know, it may come to light, but at the end of the day, you're like, this is not cool, this is not fair, I cannot deal with this. And, you know, you either you cut them off or they cut you off. You guys decided to stop seeing each other because what was going on here was very, it was very low vibrational. It wasn't, you know, this is not your per se soulmate. No, I do not feel that here with this connection. I feel like somebody's very hesitant about being open and honest with you and feeling like they can move forward with you and feeling like they could be totally open and dive right in. No, I don't feel like that's this type of relationship right now, Libra. I do apologize. I feel like this person is here to teach you some sort of lesson. This person is here to balance your life out. This person is here to show you some sort of lesson you need to learn, whether that be, whether that be, you know, you cannot give everybody your all and expect them to give back the same in return. I feel like that's some sort of lesson that you're learning here with this person is that no matter if you give somebody the star card, they may not meet you back with the star card. They may meet you back with the moon card and that may leave you disappointed, Libra, because you're giving this person your all and they're coming back and saying it's not enough. <clears throat> and so yeah, I do feel like that hurts you here, Libra. I feel like you are, you feel kind of betrayed. You're kind of like, how could we be on two separate pages? How could I have been so blindsided by this? And I feel like you are, you are this other person cut the other one off in realizing that it was not balanced, it was not fair. And this is you present here in this reading, Libra, so I strongly believe that you were called here to listen to this message. I do feel like this is some sort of karmic relationship, uh, relationship that you needed to learn from because I don't feel like it's harmonious. I don't feel like it's it's naturally mending. So I do feel some sort of separation here. I do feel some sort of eeriness, like some sort of maybe this person was going behind your back and doing something shady. Maybe this person was lying to you from the beginning. Maybe they, they didn't want a serious relationship with you, but they told you that they did because they had, they had bad intentions. And so over here, Libra, it's, it's really great because Although, you know, although you, you know, you definitely felt butchered, I feel like you kind of revived from this really quickly. I feel like um, you have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles here. So it's like once you went through that lowest of lows of how this person made you feel, you bounced right back up because you're either surrounded by great friends and family or you have this amazing, um, I do see a really great, career opportunity for you this month Libra I would say it comes later on after this stormy um, this kind of little stormy episode but I feel like you have a very great offer coming your way because you stay positive and you stay true to your heart and once you you know once you come out of this ten of swords you'll find that so many great things are coming your way you have many opportunities this month I feel like this is a great month for career, finances, and even even your creative abilities, Libra. I feel like this is a great month to dive into your, if you are into creating art or your creative side, let your creative side really flow this month because I feel like, you know, with these two cards here, I feel like you can create something magical. You can create something that really speaks to your soul, something that, you know, you really want to share with the world. And I do sense that it's something very creative from you. And with the Nine of Wands here as the outcome card, I just feel like you both realize that, you know, this, this, it's like you both still have a few questions about why it didn't work out, but you realize in the long run that it was for the best. It takes it takes one or both of you a minute to realize the lesson that you're supposed to learn from this relationship, what you're supposed to take from it. 
But I feel like once you guys have the time to really sit and think about it, you're like, hmm, you know, maybe, maybe it was for the best. Maybe I'll be better off without them. And, you know, I'm glad they came into my life to show me X, Y, or Z, but, you know, you're still kind of having, you're still kind of thinking about this person. It's like you still will daydream about them. You'll still remember, you just still have these memories of them kind of right in the shoulder, like right at the back of your head, you still think about them. It's not, it's not something that you just swept off and forgot about. It's, you still hold it close to your heart. It did hurt. It, you went through a very painful, I would say a, a, a painful time of just feeling totally betrayed by this person, but you bounced back, Libra, and that's what's great about this month is that your comeback from this breakup, your comeback from this separation is wonderful because you come back twice as strong. And I feel that so much here. I feel like you come back ready to take on your next adventure and you're authentic about it. You're very genuine about wanting to pursue something this month. And I see strong and great opportunities for you this month. Something amazing is coming your way. I feel like this will be mid-month. I feel like you'll get some sort of message beginning to mid-month about an opportunity, Libra. But I feel like towards the end of the month is when you really will see that something amazing is coming together for you. Okay, Libra, I hope you enjoy your reading, and I hope it resonated with you. If this video did resonate with you, feel free to let me know in the comments what did or did not. And if you did enjoy this reading, feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.